Hello again. <laughs> What's everybody? It's TRQ and we're back with another fitness video. This time we're talking about how to get, hold on, let me fix it if I'm gonna tell you how to get it. A super smashed waist, you need to be training back. I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. So I'm gonna run you through my favorite back day routine and how you can get super skinny for the summer time. Let's go, let's go. First off, we're gonna start off with a gym fit. This is a cute little two-piece that I got from Amazon. If you're interested in anything that I'm wearing, let me know down in the comments and I'll link you guys. And you already know how I'm coming. We are starting off with a warm-up. If you're not warming up, Seriously, I'm gonna like come through the screen and like shake you until you start doing it because it is crucial to your preparedness for the workout and your recovery. So stop playing games and just do it already. So this machine right here has single-handedly become one of my favorite machines for upper body slash back. I don't know what it is, but I just feel so powerful when I climb my little butt up there and I'm like pulling weights. I start off with just some 45 plates to warm it up, you know, make sure I'm getting my form together. I'm working on my breathing and then I start to increase my weight. And now we're gonna be adding on 25 pound plates to each side. Now this is when I have to like really, really work because I never really prioritized upper body, so now I'm trying to get that because I wanna be an all around, you know, well equipped unit. So I really focus on these and I do less reps because I wanna make sure that I'm getting good form. And once I'm not getting the good form, I stop. And it wouldn't be any type of back day without a cable machine action. I'm gonna go in with a close grip row. Um, yeah, I had to really work on these because my form at the beginning was trash when I started doing these, but I'm getting better and I just increase my weight after each set and really focus on keeping my core tight and really making sure that I'm really accentuating those back muscles because that's what we're trying to tone up to get that snatched waist. So yeah. So I've had people message me and ask like how many sets and reps should they be doing and that's really up to you. Um, I used to do three sets and maybe 10 to 15 reps. Now I've beefed it up a little bit to four sets and I really focus on progressive overload with adding more weight after each one or you can do a drop set where you start off with your highest weight and then drop it down. It's really up to you and what your goals are. So I just wanted to say that. So these, Ugh, I always get a lot of eyes on me whenever I'm in the gym, but I saw this TikTok and this girl is snatched. And once I started to add these into my back day routine, my waist started to shave inches. So I'm not saying it's working, but I'm saying before I was doing it, I wasn't this snatched. So you be the judge of that. Also, I don't know if I'm a weirdo, but I feel it more when I don't have the handle whenever I kind of bring it towards my back a little bit. But you are more than willing to go ahead and just make sure that it's parallel with your body. And this is a perfect segue to some lap pull downs. Now I'm gonna start off with a wide grip one. I'm gonna be honest with you, I hate these. I do them because you do them on bad days. But yes, I just try to really focus on progressive overload, keeping my core strong and not really make, like pulling my back. I don't know how to explain it, but making sure that I'm not breaking the angle that I need to have to fill it in my back, if that makes sense. And now we're gonna do a more close grip lat pull down. I think I like these more than the wide grip. I feel like you control it more and really focus on mind and muscle connection. I don't know. Let me know which guys is your favorite. Do you like the wider grip or do you like the close grip? 
Anyways, I'm going to do the same amount of repetitions and just get it done. Also, apologies about like the sketchy quality in the lighting. The lighting is not that best. I got to make do with what I have. I am in a deployed location, so it's not like I'm in some fancy schmancy studio. So bear with me, please. And we're gonna do another variation of a single arm pull down. Now these, I feel like Superwoman, Wonder Woman, I feel like a badass. I don't know if it's the kneeling stance or what, but I love these. Um, it's a little bit extra to get into this position, but it's really good and I really feel it. And whenever you start to add more weight, you really have to keep your core, you have to be balanced and just really focus on that mind and muscle connection. But these are some of my favorite for back and upper body day. I wanted you to see a different angle on like how I'm pulling it down and how I'm like twisting my arm to really feel it in my back. But yes, this is the workout. Keep your core tight, so like squeeze those abs really plant your legs down so you're not wobbling around and pull the weight that's what you need to do just pull the weight and we're going to finish off the workout with a cool down you're going to stretch again yes you are stretching twice at the beginning and at the end like i said it's crucial for your recovery do you want to be tiptoeing do you want to be sore no then do it You see that hourglass? We're getting there, okay? We're getting there. This is if I like actually want to like pause to try and say anything. So like, there we go. What up with these legs? We finished the bad day. We finished the bad day. Okay, let's reiterate what we always reiterate. Do what is comfortable for you. If it feels uncomfortable, don't be afraid to stop. You are not impressing anyone. Your health is priority. Okay, number one. Two, aggressive overload is the key. So start off with the lower leg, get comfortable, work your way up. That's how you're gonna make the gains, movement, but incorporating, I, I honestly feel like there's many factors that go into like getting a smaller waist and tummy midsection area, which a lot of women are uncomfortable with that section. But train your back, look at your diet, reevaluate it, what you're eating and putting it into your body, and moving your body. And enjoy the ride, girl. Have fun. Okay? But that's all I wanted to say to you guys. I hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful day and an even better workout. Bye!